Happy October! Welcome to my October plan with me. Let's get right into it. So I am starting off by sketching out my monthly layout grid. So I love to use the regular calendar layout just because I find it easy to look at each week and it's an easy one to uh, draw out itself. And as a student, I really don't have that much time to dedicate to my bullet journal, unfortunately. So this is a quick way to get it out there and have some and, you know, save some time for decorations and such. So I went in with my Pilot Juice pen in 0.55 black ink. It's my absolute favorite pen. I love it. And uh, by the way, I'll have all my tools linked down below as well if you want to look into what I used again and where to buy it. So after I have drawn it all out with my ruler, I'm going to go in with some washi tape. Um, I got this washi tape from Target. It's my absolute favorite. And I just used a little now. I'm going to be using a lot more later. Now I'm going in with my Tombow Fudonosuke brush pen in black um, and writing out the title and all of the days of the week. I love this pen because it is thin enough to write these small titles and uh, still you can see the calligraphy. And I also went in with some Crayola Super Tips just to add some color at the top with orange and a light brown. Now going back with the Tombow pen, I am drawing little circles in each monthly box and I'm going to use a white gel pen and fill in the date. So now for the fun part, the decorating part. So off camera, I added some gold washi tape um, for some weekends or days I had off from school and also some important events. Um, and I also went on Pinterest to look up some Halloween doodles to sketch out. I already sketched them out with pencils, you can sort of see, but it's great to get that inspiration and kind of sketch out what you want to do before you do it. I find it's a lot easier and I also get kind of stressed out when I go right in with pen, especially for a little bit of complicated doodles. So I know my hand is covering up a little bit, but um, I'll try to explain what's going on. So I do have some Harry Potter uh, themed doodles here, of course, because why not Harry Potter? Always Harry Potter. <laughs> um, and I also, so next to some of that, I have keys potions this potion book and the i found the key for like these halloween doodles to really make them i don't know all tie together and have that halloween theme i added a lot of these kind of star ish things that have like dots or stars or those diamond shaped things you know what i mean <laughs> um, and that kind of tied it in together and made it all seem magical which i really loved and again going in with that same pilot juice pen nothing super fancy here um I have a wand up there, a moon, a broom, a witch's hat, which is sort of messed up on, so no shade, but <laughs> so having fun with that. And now I'm going in to draw a little don't forget box. I just like to have this there just in case I want to put in anything for the monthly, like the month overall. So. Um, now I'm going in back with my eraser, erasing everything. This is a whole cycle with this pen, but it's okay. <laughs> going back in, just retracing some lines and such. So I wanted to put this out there too. Like I keep saying this over and over. I'm using basically the same tools over and again, over and over again. Um, this bullet journal spread is really simple. I really am using, as I show here, about five pen tools in my journal and a little bit of washi tape. Um, I like to keep it simple, even though I love to have fun with bullet journaling. You also don't want to make it too crazy. I mean, I am a student. I have a lot of stuff to put on here. I can't make it too complicated. You know what I mean? So just want to put that out there. You don't need super expensive stuff to make your bullet journal beautiful. <laughs> uh, so I am using an orange and the brown, same as I used it from at the top of the um, calendar. And I'm going in and tracing a few things, adding a little bit of color in each doodle. And that can mean just, as you can see in like the witch's hat, that's just simply I colored in the belt part, you know, like that buckle part. And in some places I just added like an outline to the moon or I did fill in like the wand because that was a little bit of a smaller object and just adding a littler. And back to the Pinterest board. So I usually do make an actual board for my doodles or my monthly theme. Unfortunately, this time I didn't, but I can try to link below the doodles that I did get my inspiration from if you're interested. So going um, with 
the Tombow pen, I'm adding a few thicker lines here and there just to add some depth and emphasis. So guys, that is it. This is my simple monthly spread for October. Off camera, I did add a little bit of gold glitter here and there, just for a little flair. <laughs> but other than that, guys, this is a simple, easy monthly spread. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe if you liked this video and want more content like this. I will see you all next month and have a great October.